When I started to study the topic of homosexuality, I, I got a bunch of books out, got a bunch of articles out, and, and opened up my Bible and started studying as in-depthly as I possibly could what the Bible says about homosexuality. But then I did something else. I started to actually talk to gay and lesbian, bisexual, transgender people, and my whole perspective was rocked. My, my view of the Bible didn't change, okay? My view of scripture, what the Bible says about homosexuality didn't change, but my view of people was radically changed. And that's what I try and do in this book. I, I wanna look at truth, I wanna look at what the Bible says and, and, and accurately convey what God has said about same-sex relations, but I also want to love people better. And I want you, as my reader, to love people better as a result of reading this book. If we study homosexuality, if we talk about homosexuality, and we don't cultivate a greater love for people who are gay, then we've missed it. Jesus stood on the truth, but Jesus also stood on love, and he was able to navigate truth and love perfectly. And as Jesus followers, we need to do the same. And so in Living in a Gray World, I tackle various questions like, is it okay to attend a gay marriage? Uh, is it okay for a gay couple to get married in our church? How should we feel about uh, gay marriage being accepted in our culture? How, how should we feel about um, people who come out as gay, loved ones, friends, best friends, parents, sons, daughters? How do we navigate these turbulent waters by maintaining truth and yet being excessively loving the way Jesus was? Thank you.